good morning. It's Friday, the 2nd of September, and what I'm going to go with Brian and my mate Scott. The plan today is to do Book Like a Moor, which is just sitting in the clag in it. So it's just gone up at 9 o'clock. Uh, Hopefully the weather clears up, a bit windy, a bit claggy at the top, but the forecast was actually no bad for the day, so we'll see how we go. Once you get to the fork in the path, head to the right hand side. Uh, Book a little more is made up of two Munros, Stob Gerag, Stob Nabroin, and you access it just off the 82, basically next to the where you would start the double staircase. Nice path so far. Hopefully, once we get these done. Yeah, we're going to come back down and do a wild camp. I don't know if we'll get close to where we'll park the car. I'll be thinking of going and camping where we camped the last time in Glencoe, the next day at Lochin. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how we feel when we're, we're finished. Starting to gain a bit of height. It's a nice walk up through the gully. Nice and steep. Book like a more's been on my to-do list. Probably the best part of 10 years. I done my first one row at Ben Lomond. Probably more than 10 years ago. I didn't know what the name of this one row is. I just called it the Paramount because it looked like the, the icon of the Paramount channel, the mountain. So I've only really been serious with them, I know maybe over the last four years. The year before that, I bang one afternoon again. So I've been out quite regular now, as I say, in the last four years. Uh, so I'm looking forward to getting to the summit. It's probably one of Scotland's most iconic Monroes. I believe it's the most photographed Monroe because of where it sits on the A82. Basically how it looks, it looks amazing. But, as I say, we're walking for about an hour now. Yeah, we're halfway up the gully. I'll bring you back when we get to the, the Bielak. Just be careful when you get to this scree section near the top. We're going to try and hit a right up here. The boulder's seem bigger. Oh, it looks a nightmare to get up. So we're going to, we're going to break right. Path takes you off that scree. It goes away to the right, but it's better to get up that scree. Blackwater Reservoir. It's down here. How you doing, buddy? Feel the burn. Aye, good, mate. Good. You alright? Aye, good, mate. Good. So 
does reach the beer like? Aye. Aye. Jarag. A lot of you. So glad we got the views at this one. views all around. Right, the only one knowing the clag is Ben Nevis. Absolutely stunning. Stunning. That's our next target there. Just yeah. <sighs> Beautiful day. We have held up. It's been absolutely fantastic. A bit windy, that's, that's the only thing. A bit windy, but that's keeping the midges away so can complain, can complain. So, I'm going to put this away, get down here, get this next one done. You can see a route heading back down, just right here. That's heading down a bit there, back down to the valley, the back of the car. Then we're going to find a place to pitch. We're going to head down Glen Etif, see if we can get a pitch down there. That's a plan anyway. Might be busy because it's, it's Friday, but we'll get a, we'll get a go. That's us come down after that one there. Yeah, we've got a steep drop down. Another wee pull up here. That's the final one row. Just up there. Ideal bit for a wild camp here, nice and flat. Nice views as well. Stunning. Yeah, you got a few tents up here. area route today. That's where we come up this morning, just at the beer lake there, up to the first Monroe, which is at the back here. Over this guy here, this Monroe height, but it's not a Monroe. Down the ridge here. Back up this way here. There he is, the man himself, Uncle Brian. And that is our last Monroe just What a view, what a view. Thank you. 
Stukjes voor u als voor het moment is tegen de zijde van de roof. Ik heb wel een kop van u als betuin, betuin de tunnel nooit. Nee, dat is een great hike. Absoluut, ik love dat. Ik love dat. De views, die dat allemaal nooit, dat is fantastisch. So I've done it to be a lack point, where you break left and head down to the valley, if you look at it. So we're going to head in there, pick up the path, then back on the A2, pick up the road. Uh, the wind's starting to get up, I think it's getting a lot windier. We should be sure to see it halfway down. Uh, the sense is not too bad. Good stepping stones on the path to get you down. Uh, the path starts to even out, just down at uh, this point here. There's on the valley floor. So uh, we're making good time. This has been on the go for six hours. So you can see the road. Better trek along the valley to get to the, the road. But it's been a good day, a really good day. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So now, back to the car, the find the place. Thing. Off the Monroe, right. back on a sort of flattish path. Not too bad, a few steep places back there. And you just need to be careful. Uh, probably a lot trickier if wet, but nice and dry. Uh, as I said, just take your time, get on your bum and bum it down. It wasn't too bad, but uh, all good, all good. Legs are feeling good. Uh, feeling okay. Let's hope the weather holds it. Doesn't look too promising over there. So I was nearly back at the car. Basically been on the go for seven and a half hours. We just covered over 11 mile. Yeah, I'll put the stats up at the end of the video. But uh, it was a great, great hike. I really enjoyed it. There she is. I really enjoyed it. So now for a wild camp and some beer. Well that's camp set up for the night. We're in Glen Etter. I've got a beer in hand. I just put this tent up there, and that's mine and Scott's tent, my wee two manor. So, Scott's sharing with me tonight. You better watch yourself. <laughs> Brian's just 
in there. Very negative is a stunning place. Absolutely stunning place. I was, I was actually expecting to come down here and it was mobbed, but not very many people about at all. So the midges are here. The wind comes, that takes away, obviously. But check, check that <laughs> Plenty of the wee rod there's plenty of fish moving, plenty of wee trout moving about there. Just the fact this one just, just rose there. I don't think I'll be taking a dip. It's a bit cold. Some was out, I don't know if in, but it's a bit cold, isn't it? I've not got my, I've not got my big towel with me. So, next stop, dinner. I see the tent set up, we'll get the beds made up and then we'll get the dinner on. Tonight we're on the steaks, we're on the steaks. Lovely! Steak and onion and beer. <laughs> How you doing lads? Fantastic. Super mate, super. Waiting on your dinner? Yeah, nice bit of steak. That's the steak done. We're now on the chilli burgers. Bring it on. This is for Mr. Paul Agnew. Spicy you cheese. Need, you need to up your game, sir. Brioche buns. What else we got there? We've got mustard and garlic mayo. And may I just add yeah. that the steaks were absolutely fine. Beastie be gone. Sublime. <laughs> right, Paul. That's it. That's it. The game changer. The chili cheese is on. Right, it's 10 to 8. Uh, I've had a dinner, the lovely uh, chilli burger with cheese and onion and a, a steak. I've never had a steak before uh, camping. It was really, really nice. Uh, thanks, Scott, for bringing the, the, the burger and the steak. It was, it was really, really nice. I've got my wee innocent gun. I'm not promoting anything, but they are good. Innocent gun's good. Uh, but what a day. What a place this is, and what, what a stunning look at it. The weather is, it's on route, I'm sure it's on route. It's definitely forecast for some rain later on the day. That's nasty weather coming in there. So I don't know how long we'll get before we need to go to the tents, but it's been an absolutely fantastic day, really, really good. Really thoroughly enjoyed it. Two Monroe's, I've been wanting day for a long, long, long time. As I said earlier on the video, this part of more than 10 years ago, I seen them and I went to do it. I must have rolled by Brooklyn for more, well over 100 times. Easy, easy over 100 times. And so glad I came up with the idea. Uh, Scott enjoyed himself. I see that's Scott. When I, I was last out with Scott, I think he was on Monroe number 5 when we were out. He's now up to, that's 22 today. So well done, Scott. Brian done these two or four. But he's uh, going to do the Alps trek uh, next week, so because me and Scott were going out, he uh, came a long ways uh, to just keep his fitness up for, for the Alps trek. But stunning day, stunning area, and I just hope the weather's kind to us, but it doesn't look that way. But we'll see what happens. <laughs> Right, I was hoping to do a wee review on this uh, Beastie Big Horn, but there's, there's no midges. 
the wind's actually really, really good. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but uh, I will certainly get a review of this done when the midges are out. Well, that's us, it's half past nine. Uh, that one day got a fire on. So I've retired to the tent and then uh, just going to get the heat done. So we'll see you in the morning, breakfast time. Good morning, it's 5 to 7, uh, not a bad sleep, uh, pretty wild through the night, uh, heavy rain, high winds, but got a sleep, not bad, broken bone and a half, uh, got coffee's on, it's that time again, it's the coffee's on, so we're going to get these coffees, get some breakfast, then get packed up and get down the road, see how we go. Sod's law, as soon as you decide to pack up, get the tent and it starts pouring the rain. But today's much of a can on this porch before we get the tent in. Yeah, so I was all packed up, 10 to 8, we bit of a challenge in the rain there, but we done it. Uh, all rubbish took away, leave no trace, no fire scars, they're no ours. Uh, so, until the next time, cheers.